You know, all these school shootings done by all these teens or whatnot, that you don't hear about this stuff back in the day. I mean, yeah, we had school shootings, but they weren't damn near every day, every week, every month. I mean, it's ridiculous. Now, understand, these children are coming into their preteens, all right? So it's almost like a baby being raised from the year of, from birth to the age of five, all right? They need love and support and all that for their brain to grow properly and develop into sensible people, okay? Well, it's similar in a way when you're going through your teens, okay? And when they're exposed to stuff like people being beheaded on YouTube and people being executed and all kinds of stuff that young people really shouldn't be exposed to so much. I mean, I understand back in the day, you know, I'm talking a couple hundred years ago, this stuff was normal, okay? I mean, violence and executions, I mean, they'd go take their family outing, you know, and watch somebody get hung, you know? But now things have just calmed down, but it seems like the more hate and animosity gets spread around social media, you know, when somebody's coming through their preteens and they see all this stuff, it just psychologically builds up. Now, whether a person is violent or racist or depressed or whatever their mentality, when you have all of this negative input feeding your subconscious, it's going to have an effect. But people don't understand the power of social media. It's a very dangerous tool if it's not used properly. Now, I know it can be used as a telephone and it's fun and it can be fun, obviously. And it basically isn't real. It's a toy. It's a fantasy world, you know, but these children are going to take it a lot more serious. I mean, I've actually talked, I've talked junk about Facebook. I've set and put Facebook down on posts and even on my own posts and stuff. And I swear people will jump on there and they will defend Facebook like you just talk shit about their damn mother. I mean, they will sit and dog you out. I can't believe you talk shit about Facebook. Oh my God, that's my bitch right there. That's my fucking man. I mean, it's like, damn, I mean, you'll fill up all your time with Facebook and make that the most important priority in your life. No. What people need to do is get out more. You know, people p complain about how shitty people are these days. And I know that. I understand how shitty people are. But you know, the more shitty stuff you post and spread around and people read and take to mind and commit to, then of course they're going to be shitty. And society's just going to have a decline. I mean... Nobody really pays any attention to anything that they should pay attention to. It's always something that's really either not important or it doesn't matter. I mean, and, and something that's not important most of generally doesn't matter, but that's not always the case. But if people would start trying to go to a, a more positive note, if people would put more positive things down, if people would put posts and memes up that actually encourage people to do something good, you know, to change their life. And I know they do have things like that, but I'd say if I counted 100 of them, there'd probably be three or four, maybe. And that's, and that's an optimistic number there. There might be three or four that are actually positive. And, and that's terrible. Even if it was a 50, 50 scenario, we wouldn't even have the violence and the shitty people that we have now. So social media can be a dangerous tool. And I'm on the ver I basically believe that the, the government knows this, obviously. Now, to all the teens out there, okay, now you're reading all this stuff and you're looking at all these pictures and you're reading these violent actions that these other countries are taking on soldiers and other people and you're watching these videos, you know, don't commit that stuff to mind, all right? Just think of it as uh, something you've seen on the internet that's really, it could be fake. Just think always, it could be fake. Whether it's real or not, think in your mind, what if it is fake? Okay? Always question that. Okay? So that doesn't leave you in a position where you're actually vulnerable to becoming susceptible to violence. You know? Now, if uh, if you're going to have problems, say you have problems with somebody on the internet, all right? And you go to school, okay? But you're thinking you want to bring an Uzi to school and just blast people down because you're just tired of everybody's shit. You okay? Think about this. All right. You're not, you might get in the paper. Okay. You might be famous for a day or two and you might make the top headline. But sooner or later, you're going to be somebody's bitch. All right. 
It's not going to be fun. You're going to be sitting in jail and you're going to be wishing, wow, I really wish I had a life. Okay, think of it this way, all right? If that doesn't get to you, think of it this way. When you go and kill someone or you go to school, bring a gun to school, hold somebody hostage, whatever, you're never going to have Facebook again. They don't have that shit in prison. And if you ever manage to get on a halfway house, it probably won't even be real by then. I mean, Facebook might not even be a big thing by then. You never know. But you're not going to have Facebook in prison. I'm sorry. Okay, so I know that they say, well, if you have a problem with somebody at school, tell someone. Okay, that shit doesn't work. All right. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it don't. But if it comes down to it, if you have issues with someone, just fight them. Okay, I know it's not a good thing to say. It's not good to encourage someone to fight, but it's better to encourage someone to fight someone than to take a gun to school and start mowing people down. All right. So if you have an issue with someone at school and someone's picking on you, you might not be the toughest guy in school, whatever. If you really want to save face, whether you get your ass whipped or not, you will make friends if you fight this person. All right. Now, when it comes to maybe females. All right. Say you have a crush on somebody and they dumped you or or you love someone and they dumped you for somebody else. All right. Now, going to school with a gun and shooting everybody is not going to get them back. And it's basically not going to teach them any kind of lesson. And what they're going to be doing is if you don't if you don't die yourself, you're going to be shunned. So you're not going to get them back. So what's the point? OK, you're losing your life. And if you're 14, 15, your mid teens, whatever, even if you're in your early 20s, you're you still got a life ahead of you. You still have your whole life ahead of you. OK, you might think you love someone at that age. And maybe you do, but think of this time goes on and there's plenty of fish in the sea and eventually you might run into the person. Now, the person of your dreams or the person that will actually be with you for the rest of your life, loves you, whatever. All right. Now think of this. If you get in a situation where you love someone and all that happens, say some girl dumps you and all this. Okay. You are actually learning a life lesson. All right. I know it's hard and I know it hurts and it really does. I mean, you feel like your chest is just collapsing. All right. It really does hurt, but it will pass. Okay. And you learned a life lesson and you're stronger and that will give you a lot better intuition when it comes to choosing the correct partner, you know? So if you are a teen and you're really struggling, you're having problems at school and you are on the verge of just blowing someone's head off, Think about it first. Think it's not worth it. All right. I know you're angry and I know you really want to teach them a lesson, but you know, short of that, the best thing to do, and it's not the best advice, but it's better than going to jail or being dead. Walk up to them and blast them in the face. I mean, I know it's not the best advice, but you know what? Show them that you're not scared. And you know what? I guarantee if you fight someone that has been fucking with you and you've been trying to just be civil and they just keep on and keep on. If you fight them, they'll end up being your best friend. I guarantee it. It's happened to me dozens of times. They end up being my best friend because they know that you won't take shit. And they know that if they ever had a problem and somebody was giving them shit, that you would have their back. So if you have an issue with someone or problems and you want to do something about it, the best thing to do would be to fight them and just get it out of the way. And that right there will earn you their respect. It'll earn you people's respect. And you might even get back whoever it was, the girl that shunned you in the first place. So it's never a good idea to take a gun to school and start blasting people or take anybody hostage. And guns don't kill people. People kill people, obviously. Okay? Now, if people would actually do what they're supposed to do with these weapons, then you know, things would be all right. I mean, people go hunting and stuff. And another note, if they disarm all of the citizens, then that's just going to leave us vulnerable to being taken over. I mean, these civil rights or these constitutional rights were set into place by the people that started up our government, our forefathers, Washington and the others that signed the Constitution that knew eventually the government was going to be big and they knew that they would be very powerful and that money would probably start 
they'd probably start being greedy. Okay, that's why these are in set are set in place. They're to protect us, and people don't understand. A lot of people don't understand when they say, "Oh, they're there to protect us." Protect us from what? Okay, well, protect us from them seeing you walking down the road and getting out of the car and arresting you just because they can, or even executing you right there. Hey, you're out after dark. Boom! You won't be anymore. Stuff like that. I mean, they're set into place to keep us on an even keel. But all these loopholes are made to get around those. And there is actually constitutional rights set into place that are actually that do not allow loopholes, but they do it anyway. And of course, if you live in a commonwealth state, that's like private property, they're inclined to follow the constitutional rights, but that doesn't mean they're going to. But I'll tell you this, if you end up in prison, you're not going to have any rights at all. And it's definitely not worth it. So next time, think about it a good deal before you actually want to do something violent or crazy. And think about this. Next time you get on Facebook and you're looking through people's news, fe news feeds and you're seeing all this stuff, take it with a grain of salt. It's not that important. It doesn't mean anything. It's a game. It's a fantasy world. It's Facebook. You can be anybody you want. You can do anything you want. You can be anybody you want to be uh, from friggin' you. You could say you're the president. You could put up a fake profile of some, you know, you could be Donald Trump if you wanted. I mean, that's not like you're going to be, but it's a fantasy world. It's not real. And the stuff in that world is real. And we see it every day. So use your head. This generation is on a deadly path. And if we don't do something about it, and if they don't, if, if you younger generations don't come to terms with your own self and the things that are going on, then our, our society is definitely on a, a decline. So be sharp.